I know the difference between a hamburger bun donut and this. Like, I know. I'm not stupid. Greg Doucette recently posted this video. I went full vegan. Harder than you think. I don't know if that means, like, he went harder than we thought or, like, it was harder. I know he is, like, harder than last time. No. No, that's not a... <laughs> some phrase that he says and that everyone quotes whenever I've talked about Greg Doucette. It's, like, people yell it at me in the comments. But I assume there might be some like legit information here. Like I know it's not just going to be fruit and rice and potatoes, right? He's a bodybuilding guy. He knows about protein and whatnot. And also just a little bit I've seen from him where that one what I ate today, I think he ate some vegan crumbles and I think even said that like you don't have to eat meat in order to build muscle. His girlfriend I think is vegetarian. My girlfriend is vegetarian. She does consume egg whites, Greek yogurt, things like that. She drinks milk occasionally. This might be pretty good. I've recently made a meatless cookbook, the ultimate meatless anabolic cookbook, and I'm going to eat from that for two days. Ah, okay. So he's promoting his cookbook, his meatless cookbook. But hey, that's cool. That's cool that he has a book that is vegetarian, maybe even vegan. That's cool. That is not something you see often enough in the like bodybuilding bro kind of world. I think this is where some people get too caught up in like the, oh, he's just doing it to make money. Who gives a shit? Like, I don't care why he's doing it. Anyone making good content, hopefully it's like good recipes and whatnot that are actually tasty and perhaps introducing people to meatless diets or eating less meat, eating less animal products. Like, that's great. I don't really care if his only reason is just to make money. Okay, so his first thing is a V-Not butter and banana sandwich. V-Not, so it's, so no peanut? Call it peanut butter. It's not peanut butter. Peanut butter has way too many calories and too much fat. A tablespoon of this has 100 calories, 100 calories. I have four tablespoons of peanut butter in each of these sandwiches. That would be 800 calories from peanut butter alone. And it's not high in protein. Y'all think peanut butter's high in protein? It's not. Four grams of protein out of 100 calories. See, these are the people who know. These are the people who know what high protein means. Don't listen to vegans. Most of them don't know what they're talking about. Now, I'm not, you know, if you're just trying to get protein, like a good amount of protein, you're 60 to 70 grams, something like that, then peanut butter's fine. But if you're actually trying to build a lot of muscle and you're actually trying to get 100 plus grams, peanut butter is really like not your friend. Seven to eight grams of protein in like 200 calories is not good. That is not a high protein food. It's a high fat food. In comparison, mine has 12 grams of protein per 100 calories. That's three times the amount of protein. So is it like something from the book? He's not going to share like what it is. The ultimate meatless anabolic cookbook and I'm going to eat from that for two days. Fair enough, but like, I'm not buying the damn book. Come on. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a mix, like maybe it's part peanut butter with some like protein powder or I was going to say Greek yogurt, but this is vegan, so you wouldn't do Greek yogurt. There is a vegan Greek yogurt that has a decent amount of protein. But yeah, I'm assuming it's something like that, which is not as tasty. Like I've tried it and I went, no, it's not worth it. I'd rather, if I'm going to have peanut butter, I want peanut butter. And I don't mean the natural shit that's just so sad. No, I want the yummy like Peter Pan or really I get the store brand, but it's all the same stuff. I want the peanuts and the salt and the fully hydrogenated oil. Yes. Look how much peanut butter is in there. Most people, they probably think they're putting a tablespoon, but they're putting four and they're eating three, 400 calories when they're thinking they're eating 100. That's me. And that's why like I have a food scale. I use food scales for various things, but the most important thing is peanut butter. I always measure peanut butter before I put it on anything. A tablespoon to my eyes is like three. It's just as good as the real thing. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. No. No, it's not. Yeah, that definitely has the look of a like peanut butter with protein powder mix. You know, it's it's not as like creamy looking. It has that, just a drier look to it. You know what I mean? God damn it. Am I going to have to buy the book just to see what it actually is? <gasps> no, no, it's not. Okay, that's the regular one. What? Where's the other one? $99. What? <laughs> I mean, worth is subjective, right? That could be worth $99 to someone, but um, not to me. <laughs> With more than 75 recipes, 32 vegan and 44 vegetarian to choose from, you will have a huge selection of recipes to choose from to reduce your environmental impact while not sacrificing taste or gains. Cool, but I can find like high protein recipes anywhere or make my own. That That's crazy. $99. That's insane. So he just posted a video of this recipe and there is protein powder, but there's other stuff as well. He's got some white beans, 
protein powder, his own protein powder, of course, and he does have a vegan version, powdered peanut butter, his fibro stuff, it's a lower calorie sweetener made from isomalt, unsweetened vanilla cashew milk, low calorie maple sweetener or low calorie syrup, and guar gum and a little bit of salt. So more than just peanut butter and protein powder, there's no peanut butter actually, there's the powdered peanut butter, pe what? powdered peanut, <laughs> but I'm still not convinced that that tastes as good as peanut butter. There's just absolutely no way. Regardless, he improved the macros of the peanut butter. That's cool. Uh, it looks like he's using white bread. I'm sure there's going to be lots of vegetables and nuts and beans and stuff in this, just going by his like regular what I ate today's that I've seen where he eats like a pound of spinach in a meal. I'm sure he's getting lots of fiber elsewhere. I think people get too caught up on that of lo at looking at one particular food as like, oh, this is a bad food. I shouldn't eat it. It's like, well, why is it bad? Because it doesn't have fiber. Okay, but are you getting fiber elsewhere? Oh yeah, I'm getting like 50 grams of fiber a day. Then what the hell does it matter if you're eating a little bit of white bread? It's fine. And it's meal two, and I'm having donuts, or I like to call them vonuts, because they're actually vegan donuts. And these donuts, as you've seen in other videos, they're made with hamburger buns, as well as vegan protein powder. I used harder than the last time. That brand, obviously, as well as maple syrup jam, and some silk nut milk, low calorie nut milk. It makes for a high protein donut. I make tons of like high protein baked goods and stuff that I like that I'm sure other people would say, no, do not call that a cookie. Don't call that whatever. I make these snickerdoodles that I think most people would find absolutely disgusting. I was going to put them in a recipe compilation video, but I think you all would just die and never trust me again. They've got no oil. They're so low fat and they're just these big like balls of bread. Like they're real airy like bread, but I love them. I think they're so Good. Point is, for me, donuts, that's where I draw the line. I do not make high protein, healthy, anything. I don't do baked donuts. I No, a donut to me is a fried, airy, delicious thing that you don't try to make healthy. It's just not, what's the point? Topped with swerve icing sugar, I'm telling you, it's just as good as an actual donut you would buy in a store, possibly better. That's the kind of stuff that makes me insane. It Like, everyone does it, and just... Stop. Like, it's not true. It's not. Don't get people's hopes up like that. Maybe for some people, that's how they'll feel. But for most of us, no. I know the difference between a hamburger bun donut and this. Like, I know I'm not stupid. My taste buds are not stupid. <laughs> I know I'm like, I'm being a dick. Hey, it's great to make any food healthier. And if someone likes that over, you know, a donut, that's great. And it's helping them get a little bit of protein or have a little snack without eating I mean, the donuts I get, that's probably like 250, 300 calories. I don't even know. I don't want to know. So I might say it's gross, but like, who cares what I think? If you like something that everyone thinks is gross, but is healthy and helping you eat healthier, get more protein, get more fiber, whatever, that's all that matters. Look at a lot of the stuff I eat. I eat like a fucking eight-year-old, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. A peanut butter sandwich on whole wheat bread with orange juice is a great meal. I don't care what anyone says. 90 minutes has passed since the bike ride. I'm now getting hungry for meal three and I have an inside out baked veredo. He's got to put a V in front of everything. Like the V not butter. What? Like peanut butter is vegan most of the time. I guess he's trying to say it's not peanut butter and it's vegan. And now it's like a, a baked potato. I mean, a baked potato is vegan unless you put cheese. I don't know. I'm being too nitpicky. It's fine. Oat yogurt that tastes like garbage, but if you make it into here, it actually tastes good, but I don't recommend you try this on its own. Absolutely. Oat yogurt. Uh, it rivals the ripple pea protein bitter awfulness. It's like so gelatinous. Ugh. Total calories of both of these together, 550 calories, 38 grams of protein. And so what I really notice about eating this is this is extremely filling. And if you think it's only for people who are vegans, I'm not vegan and I love this stuff. So even if you enjoy eating meat, you can still eat vegan foods as an alternative. It still tastes amazing.
that's the crazy thing to me. People who are just anti-vegan and they won't even like try the foods. It's like, you don't have to go vegan to try all these products. Isn't it fun to just try new things sometimes? But yeah, he's got the Gardein crumbles there. There are lots of other meatless crumbles you can use. If you can find the Beyond, they're pretty good. You can also do some of the like grinds that they're usually called. Kroger has their own brand that's pretty reasonably priced. Cook it like taco meat, right? Just break it up in the pan. If you have a grocery outlet, I regularly see stuff like that on sale there. They have a little frozen section for all the vegan stuff and they always have like Beyond Meat, Gardein, that sort of stuff. Meal four, it's supper time. I'm having eggless French toast. Of course you can make French toast without egg whites. Rather than using egg whites, I'm using no sugar added cashew milk and mixing in vegan protein powder into the batter. I have a vegan protein French toast as well. The video I'm on the channel you can watch if you're interested. Mine doesn't have protein powder. It has tofu instead and soy milk. I used to eat it all the time. I made it recently for the kids. Did I even eat any? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm just not, not into it right now. But it's very soy heavy, obviously, from the soy milk and the tofu. So if you don't like soy or can't have soy, his might be better. Using protein powder, I assume you can use a pea protein. And he said he uses cashew milk. So yeah, that might be a better option. Use the protein that you want. I do suggest you try harder than last time vegan protein. It tastes absolutely amazing. Okay, he's selling vegan protein too. I mean, again, if it's getting more people to eat plant-based protein powders, that's cool. I seriously doubt it's like better than other protein powders. So I've just had too many experiences. I've tried like 90% of protein powders on the market. Most of them are gross, but I also hate stevia. So I have to look now, what is this actually made of? This packaging is just so like, dude, <laughs> like the yellow and green and black. It's just so funny to me. Like, I know we're not supposed to care about that stuff and like, oh, making the girl stuff pink, but like, I kind of want the pink. I don't know. I kind of like the cute, pretty stuff. I don't want to buy this. This is not cute. I know he's not anti artificial sweetener, sucralose, all that stuff. So this may actually just be sucralose. There it is, sucralose and a sulfame potassium, which you do not see often at all. Certainly not in most vegan protein powders. Even still, I doubt I'll like it because I've tried several sucralose sweetened, monk fruit sweetened, protein powder stuff that don't have stevia and they are all so sickeningly sweet to me. The only one I really like is the Vega Made Simple that just has a little bit of sugar. It's the last meal of the day and would it be the same without anabolic ice cream? And of course we have to do the test. Anabolic protein ice cream made with vegan protein powder. It's the same recipes, you just substitute vegan protein powder. Okay, so like bananas and protein powder, that sort of thing, like nice cream. I'm assuming. I couldn't have smart pop popcorn. I actually didn't know this. I thought that popcorn was vegan, but with smart pop, it's made in a certain way that it's not vegan. So I gotta hand it to you. If you're vegan, it is not easy. It's hard. This took over a half an hour to make in a pot on the stove. This was very difficult to make. So if you're vegan, you can't have smart pop popcorn. You know that's what I want. So I had to get the air popped ones. I made it on the stove, took forever. It honestly has a different taste. It's, I think some people prefer this, but I don't like it as much. It almost tastes kind of burnt. I've eaten air popped popcorn for so long that when I have it like traditionally popped, I don't like it. I don't like the taste. I don't like the taste of the oil. I really like air popped popcorn, but there are definitely bagged popcorns you can find that are vegan, but several of them have like butter flavoring and whatnot. So yeah, I've had the same air popper for a thousand years. It looks messed up and disgusting. You literally turn it on, you plug it in that's how you turn it on. So yeah, several times I've turned it on with nothing in there. It's great. But it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. And yeah, I've had it for I don't even know. It's so funny. We eat like so similarly. <laughs> like every single thing he ate was sweet, wasn't it? Except for the baked potato thing. That's me, man. My ideal diet is like 90% sweet, 10% pickles and popcorn. But yeah, get an air popper. It's a lot cheaper if you want to save money instead of buying the like bags of popcorn that you can go through fairly quickly. You can get a huge thing of Redenbacher for like $5 or less. Again, if you can find it cheaper at grocery outlet or uh, Walmart, I think they have a bigger one that's a little cheaper. Put that in the air popper. It takes like two minutes to pop and then put your flavorings. I just spray with canola oil, spray a little bit, put some salt, nutritional yeast, Pops, do the stirring popping thing, spray, you know, and do that until it's how you like it. 
This is like my diet. <laughs> fucking popcorn and like some banana chocolate and ice cream. What What is happening? No vegetables. Were there any vegetables? I guess he had fried pe bell pepper, which I do eat a lot. That's one of the few vegetables that like I don't mind. Potato. Love potatoes. <laughs> I don't think there was a single like green, no lettuce, no spinach or kale or anything like that. 10 out of 10. <laughs> It's been over 3,600 calories, about 230 grams of protein. So although it's a full day of eating vegan, you can see I eat way more than the protein I need. It would be about 127 grams, almost 128 grams on a 2,000 calorie diet. But it was a lot of protein powder, a lot of mock meats, right? It's definitely going to be a lot more expensive than if you're eating cheaper vegan staples like beans whole grains. You don't actually need one gram of protein per pound of body weight. 0 0.8 is going to be more than enough for pretty much anyone on this earth. Examine.com is a really great source. I love it just for nutrition stuff in general, supplement stuff in general, and they have a great article on protein and optimal intakes. So it's day two on the vegan diet. The first thing I notice is you have to check every single label to know if it's vegan or not. I'm thinking, yeah, it's gotta be vegan. And I'm looking through the ingredients and I stumble upon lactic acid. And I'm thinking lactic acid, is that from lactose? Is that from milk? Is that vegan? Is it not vegan? And I'm looking it up and lo and behold, sometimes it's vegan and sometimes it's not. It depends. And you have to call the manufacturer to find out. For all you vegans out there, props to you because it's not easy. You need to look and be careful of everything. And of course, you know what I'm going to say, don't sweat the small stuff. It really does not matter if there's a tiny bit of lactic acid in something and it's derived from animals and not plants. Don't get your panties in a twist over stuff like that. It's just not as important as getting rid of eggs, as getting rid of meat, getting rid of milk, the cartons of milk, right? Having a little bit of milk in a cookie or something just does not compare to the, the main animal product stuff, right? The stuff that is obviously like not vegan. Okay, so day number two, he's got a lot of fruit, his little peanut or V-knot butter, whatever it is. So many of you have made protein pancakes before, but the problem is you're getting most of the protein from the egg whites, something known as an egg replacer. It replaces the eggs, allows it to be thicker and bind together. Problem is there's no freaking protein in this. It's no good. Veg, V-E-G-G, -G, veg. This has 20 grams of protein in a 110 cal serving. I have never even heard of this. What is this brand? Where do you find this? The only vegan egg replacer like that that you can buy that I know of that actually has some protein is Just Egg. Wow, it's just straight nutritional yeast. It's Nooch Sodium Alginate Black Salt Beta Carotene. Wow, okay, I'm good. That's not fair, I haven't tried it. Maybe it's great. Uh, but again, it's like a more expensive product to make the thing he's showing. And that's just the way it is. If you really want to eat like super high protein like he's doing, you, you have to do it. You have to go for the mock meats and protein powder or stuff like that. But again, you don't have to do that to get really a lot of protein. I regularly eat like 100 grams a day on about 2000 calories and I eat protein powder. I eat like one scoop of, again, the Vega Made Simple. I use the peanut powder, just the cheap Walmart brand, the Great Value brand. I put some of that in a smoothie too. And then for the most part, other than that, it's just like beans, some peanut butter, tofu, maybe some mock meats at the end of the day, but not always. Cheaper vegan protein sources for the most part. And I'm still able to get up to like 100 grams, which is plenty because I'm like not even lifting anything right now. <laughs> Vegan carrot apple muffins, 115 calories each, eight grams of protein. So this six pack is gonna have just under 50 grams of protein and about 700 calories. Kind of like muffins, they taste amazing, absolutely delicious. Probably pretty low fat protein powder to bump up the protein, right? And lower fat to increase the protein per calorie, I would imagine. They're like weird looking carrot apple muffins. It's not gonna taste like a, a muffin from Perkins. Y'all remember Perkins? Perkins still around? Do y'all remember they would set those giant muffins at the front that were just like this big and you could see like the sugar on top? <gasps> That's a muffin. I had an excellent workout and now we're ready for meal three. About an hour and a half has passed. Black bean burger. So you can literally see the patty here. Vegan cheese, patty, and vegetables. Going to be absolutely delicious. Love this one. 
Also, a black bean burger wrap. I love wraps, and so what I did is I took one of these burgers, put it in the pan, added vegetables, and cooked it up, blended it up. Just mix it up like this, take it, and top your wrap. We do that often just for the kids, not really mixing them with anything, but just breaking it up because it's just easier for them to eat, and they don't always want like a patty and a bun. It's just too much of a thing to eat a whole sandwich, you know? Vegan pad thai. I'm gonna eat this meal for 700 plus calories, over 50 grams of protein. It's got tofu and veg. Oh, that looks good though. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, so more of the veg. <laughs> so this is not like cheap by any means. My fifth and final meal of the day and I'm just stuffed. Calories for the day, about 3,400 calories, about 275 grams of protein. And over the course of the two days, just a bit over 7,000 calories and just over 500 grams of protein. I don't think the point of this is to become vegan or vegetarian. We all have different beliefs. We all have different values. But I do think we can all agree that we'd be better if we consumed less animal products. This book, it gives you the tools to allow you to do so. There are so many delicious recipes in the book that if you get it and you try them out, you'll be quickly surprised that you don't actually need to eat meat all the time to have a good diet. There are plenty of easy and effective ways to get the needed protein into your diet. I don't want to debate ethics. I'm not here to try and debate ethics or morals. I'm just here to say that you can get in plenty of protein in your diet if you don't have meat in it. Fair enough. I mean, that's going to reach a lot of people probably better than me saying like, hey, it's actually bad to eat meat. <laughs> Companies like Impossible Burger and Beyond Meat, just having their products available, having them available as like not vegan products, right? Like the Whopper where you can get cheese. I think it, doesn't it just come like a standard Whopper it comes with cheese and like mayonnaise and shit on it, right? The vegan in me is like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> but honestly, that's good. It's getting that foot in the door. It's getting people interested and used to eating vegan products. Most people are not like the crazy anti-vegans that we see on the internet that like come after us and talk about our skin and but just weird shit. Like they're, they're pretty crazy. They're pretty crazy nutty people who have made their whole identity like anti-veganism. Most people are not like that, right? Most people I think are maybe a little bit concerned. They're concerned about the mock meats and stuff because it's processed or they're like neutral or they're actually interested. They're interested in trying new things. I think a lot of people are at least somewhat interested in trying new foods. If the packaging is good, right? If it looks tasty. Most people don't really read ingredients, right? Most people aren't interested in that. They just look at the packaging and the price. So about what I expected, lots of protein powder, lots of mock meats, lots of that vegan egg. I didn't really expect that, but like products like that, just given again, the what I ate today is that I've seen from him. He likes a lot of more kind of processed stuff, I guess, at least when it comes to higher protein foods. Good amount of fruit and vegetables, especially on the second day with the wrap and that pad thai, had a bunch of sugar snap peas and stuff on it. But I mean, when you're eating that much, when you're eating like that many calories, it doesn't even matter at that point. <laughs> like as long as you're eating some amount of variety, you're gonna get everything you need because you're just eating so much food. When you're eating less, like most ladies, 2000 calories or less, that's when you have to be a little bit more picky about what you're eating and you can't just rely on protein powder and mock meats. So yeah, this is my second time on here. I think watching like a vegan day from a non-vegan eater, this one, and then the one from the Will guy that was also super high in protein and really great. I mean, his food was more, I think he's like actually a really good cook because he made like that oatmeal, a savory oatmeal, which I would never touch. And that actually looked good to me. <laughs> like all of his food looked really pretty and super tasty. He used a lot more whole foods, if I remember correctly. But yeah, those are like some of the best like vegan what I eat in a day videos <laughs> and they're not coming from vegans. So like, that's sad. But I do have some on here that I've talked about. Um, I can't remember their names now, of course, but I've talked about some vegans, what I ate today is that are like really good. Cheap Lazy Vegan is always great. But yeah, usually when I'm like criticizing what I ate today's that are vegan, this is coming from actual vegans who are just eating fruit. Thanks for watching. Go to Greg's video and comment saying you appreciate him doing it. I don't know if he reads comments. He probably doesn't. He posts like a video every day, doesn't he? But it's really cool that he did that. You know, his, I was going to say go buy his book, but it's $99. That's insane. Now, the one thing I'll say again is that he's actually making things that are 
high in protein, like by calorie, right, percentage wise. Whereas, you know, you can look up high protein, vegan, whatever on the internet and you'll get a lot of hits, but like 90% of them are not actually high protein. Just go and look at the high protein, like vegan bars, protein bars on the internet. Most of them are trash. I mean, they're fine, but like protein wise, no. Can we just like define our terms is all I'm saying, right? Like to me, I go by the 20%, 20% or more of total calories coming from protein. And a lot of people, probably Greg too, would consider 20% low. That's just like the bare bones minimum. And so many of these vegan high protein recipes can't even hit that. But again, many vegans think that peanut butter is high protein. So what are you gonna do? Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. You can also support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Thank you so much to all my patrons over there. I'm still streaming on the Twitch. Having lots of fun over there. I actually played like a really scary game. Scary for me anyway <laughs> last stream. Okay, why did the game just like stop and load for a minute? Was it like loading a fucking creature in? <laughs> Okay, but also super thick. <laughs> like, you look good. It stuttered. It's like, oh, it loaded. Something popped in. I know as soon as I get close to you, like, you're gonna go away. I don't play horror games, but I watch them. I know what happens. I'm not afraid. <laughs> it was awful. I've been having, like, the worst dreams ever since. It, like, it really messed me up. <laughs> anyway, new video soon.